Well, here are the results for the Festinger and Carl Smith study. You can see the three conditions on the x-axis where participants either got paid $1 or $20 to say the tedious tasks were fun, as well as the control group where they didn't have to say anything about the tasks. Those from the control condition didn't really rate the tasks as enjoyable. Those who were paid $20 thought the tasks were a bit more enjoyable than those from the control group, but they still thought the tasks were not really enjoyable. It might surprise you to notice that it was actually the participants who were paid only $1 to say that the tasks were fun who ended up rating the tasks as most enjoyable. You wouldn't be alone if you were surprised by this finding. It can seem rather counterintuitive. Surely if you're paid more money, you should feel more positively about saying the tasks were fun. Well, it might help to look at these three conditions we have here in terms of the amount of cognitive consistency or dissonance in each. So we can see three elements or cognitions here. We have the behaviour, which is saying that the tasks were fun. This cognition is fixed. We can't do much about it because the behaviour is performed in front of both the experimenter and the new participant. We also have the initial attitude which is thinking that the tasks were boring. And we have the reward, which is either a dollar or $20. Okay, so in the $20 condition, the cognitions are related like this. We'll work out the amount of cognitive consistency by comparing everything to the behavior because it's fixed. Now, the attitude is inconsistent with the behavior. Thinking that the task is boring is the opposite of saying that the tasks were fun. The reward is, however, consistent with saying that the tasks were fun. It's perfectly consistent to get paid a reasonable amount of money to do something you wouldn't otherwise do. It's called having a job. So in the $20 condition, we have one pair of inconsistent cognitions and one pair of consistent cognitions. Let's take a look at the $1 condition now. Again, the attitude and behavior are inconsistent, just the same as for the $20 condition. This time, however, saying the tasks were fun and getting paid only $1 is not consistent. So now we have two pairs of inconsistent cognitions. And so there is twice the amount of dissonance in this condition compared to the $20 condition. That's why participants in this condition rated the tasks as being more enjoyable. They're experiencing more dissonance and because dissonance is aversive, they were motivated to reduce that unpleasant feeling. They did this by changing the only thing they could, their attitudes. And so they rated the task as being more enjoyable. For completeness, let's look at the control condition. Here it's easy to see that there's only one pair of cognitions and these are consistent. So no dissonance is created and there's nothing to resolve by changing one's attitude.